In this video, we're gonna be focusing on sending conversion events into Google Analytics 4. Now, before we dive into the setup inside of call tracking metrics, let's begin by discussing the difference in um, conversions and goals between Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. Now, they are actually very different. Inside of Universal Analytics, we had the ability to create goals, and those were used to qualify an event. So rather than every activity counting as a conversion, we could say, you know, only specific activities that met our criteria, we want those to count as conversions. Well, they did take away goals inside of Analytics 4, but they did introduce this new concept of modify event and create new events. Unfortunately, these capabilities are not uh, capable or compatible with the API that we're using to send event data into Analytics 4. So unfortunately, we are not able to utilize these at this time, and we do not have a time frame for when we will be able to. But the good news is that we do have several workarounds to ensure that we're sending quality data inside of uh, your Google Analytics 4 account. So first, the only way to create a conversion um, with our data is to simply mark it as a conversion. Um, so because of that, you might want to send additional events because just because something happened doesn't mean, necessarily mean that it's quality. So now that we have a solid understanding of that, let's jump inside of call tracking metrics. Okay, so here we are inside of our GA4 setup, our connection. So to get there, I went to integrations and then uh, Google Analytics, and then here's my connection. Now first, let's understand how we send data into GA4. We have two concepts, a lead workflow and a sale workflow. So let me go ahead and open up this connection. Now the way that this works is for um, standard, every activity we're going to send into Google Analytics as a CTM activity event. Um, you can add additional conditions if you wanna qualify them further. Um, and then we have another concept of a sale event. So this is gonna happen when an activity inside a CTM has been marked as converted, and then we'll actually include the conversion value as the event value in that conversion. So that right there might be what you wanna mark as a conversion event inside of Google Analytics for. But in many cases, we do have customers that wanna send in additional lead events or further qualify sale events. So first you can further qualify them by adding in rules here. So you might wanna add in something like, uh, maybe you wanna ensure that the talk time is greater than 180 seconds. And that's just gonna add another step of qualification for what uh, when we send in the activity sale event. All right, now if you did wanna send in additional events, that can be accomplished by creating triggers. So let's take a look at some of those that I've already created. So I did create uh, four examples for you. So in this one, we're triggering it at the end of the activity. We're gonna trigger it for all activities. And I'm looking for the conditions of, you know, the status is answered or complete and the talk time is greater than 180 seconds. So in this case, I'm gonna tag this as a GA4 conversion and I've created an uh, additional event that I'm calling a call over 180 and that's gonna follow the lead workflow. So that's going to actually tell the system that in the case of a call being answered in over 180 seconds, it's going to send it through this workflow, which is really just saying to send to the data stream associated here. Now here's a couple other examples I've created for you. This one is again at the end of the activity for all activities. And in this case, I wanna send it, you know, if it's a qualified lead. So I do have custom fields for lead qualification. So I can say, you know, if this is a hot lead or if it's a warm lead, I wanna send it in as a, quali as a quality lead. Um, something else to note uh, that's a helpful tool is you can, uh, you can test these to see if they would go. So here's some activities in my log. I can select this and it would tell me, you know, this is actually um, marked as a hot lead. So it would qualify and it would fire this off. Um, it is not marked as a warm lead, so it wouldn't have met that condition, but it did meet this condition. So it was able to send that, um, to send that event. 
Lastly, here's one other example for you. So again, at the end of the call, I'm gonna trigger it for all activities. And then in this case, I wanna send this for Google Ads calls. So I'm gonna say if the source includes Google Ads, but I wanna qualify it a little bit further. So I'm also gonna say if it was scored for greater than three stars. And in this case, I'm gonna send in an additional event um, as a Google Ads call, and I'm gonna use the lead workflow. And so with these additional events coming in, if we go back into Google Analytics, from here we can mark those as conversions so that those will be reporting under our conversion events.